Hello YouTube, Caitlin here, and it's Q&A with KP number five. India wants to know, what are some tips to help improve self-confidence? Number one, decide who you're going to be every day when you wake up. It might be the same person every day, or it might be that you want to try to emulate someone who you admire for their self-confidence. But either way, pick that person that you're gonna be upon waking up and just go for it. Number two, laugh at yourself. Sometimes we do weird or stupid or clumsy things, but we all do weird, stupid, and clumsy things. So don't let it ruin your self-confidence, just embrace the embarrassment, and laugh at yourself. Number three, keep a movie of your past accomplishments constantly playing in the background of your mind. You have done some cool and awesome things, so when you start to doubt yourself, just remember all of those awesome things that you've done. Number four, be persistent. Sometimes the reason that we have low self-confidence is because we don't think that we can do the things that we want to do or feel like we should do. Remember, everything takes practice, so don't let a setback make you think that you're never going to accomplish it. Know that you just have to keep working hard and eventually you will see results. And number five, confide in a close friend or a family member your doubts about yourself. They will become your personal cheerleader and while they can't make you have self-confidence, they can encourage you when you start doubting yourself. Question number two comes from Tonio from South Africa and he wants to know, how do you time manage your creative projects like writing, making videos, blogging, in between working and your personal life? Oh gosh, time management. I will say that I am actually inherently good at time management. I mean, in high school, I was taking college level courses at a magnet school while also still participating in student government and a quiz bowl team and show choir and a praise band and a church choir and an after school art program. I'm running out of fingers. It was crazy. So for me, YouTube and the other creative things that I do have just become a natural part of my life. I tend to slack off more on actually my personal life than I do on YouTube or my work life. So that's a problem. But if you wanna know like the nitty gritty of how I time manage, I make lists for everything. I make a monthly list, I make a weekly list, then I make a daily list. It's just lists everywhere and there is nothing better to me than crossing off something from a list. Question number three comes from Gwyneth P and she wants to know, do I prefer Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton or neither and why? Ugh, I have been avoiding this kind of question, but I guess we're gonna have an election either way, so what the heck? I can tell you straight out that I do not prefer Donald Trump. He relies on confusing linguistic tactics, he will never answer a question outright, and he will not admit when he is actually factually wrong about something. Essentially, he is extremely manipulative, and I have met people like him in real life, and though they are extremely lucrative business people, aka they make a lot of money, they are not the type of people that you can trust or really want to be friends with. You can't depend on them because they are out for themselves and only themselves. Personally, that's not the type of person I want running my country, and that's not even even considering all the derogatory things he said about Hispanic people and black people and disabled people and the list goes on. But does that mean I prefer Hillary? Not really. I don't really know how I feel about her right now. I don't agree with the attacks that most people are throwing at her. I guess I feel like voting for the Iraq war in 2001 or flip-flopping on gay marriage or using a private email server is not as soul damning as some people are acting like. Pretty normal fallout from being in politics and in the public eye for a long time. I don't think that you shouldn't scrutinize her actions pretty closely, but I don't think it warrants being called Crooked Hillary or Kitler Hillary. So yeah, there you have it. I am not really a fan of either, but I kind of understand the criticism of Hillary less than I do of Donald Trump. But I'm starting to think that no matter who gets elected, the US is kind of already screwed up anyway. So can I just go somewhere else, please? And questions number four and five come from Mark Slide because he is apparently really into sports and wants to know all of my opinions about them. And I think they're fun, so I'm gonna answer them. Question number four from Mark Slide is, are you and or your boyfriend doing fantasy football this year? Uh, no. I am not. I have never done fantasy football and I actually don't entirely know how it works. Although I will say since you added my boyfriend into this question that I probably know more about fantasy football and or sports than he does because he's not interested in sports at all. I mean he really loves doing physical things and he's very very good at whatever he does like ice skating and hiking and playing basketball, like whatever he tries, he's just like amazing at it and it's not fair. But watching sports, nah, that is not something that he does. But you guys should tell me about fantasy football down in the comments, why not? I have always wanted fantasy football to really be football players riding unicorns and dragons, 
but I don't think that's what it is. That would be my kind of fantasy football. And question number five from Mark's slide as well is, what is the sports team that you cheer for the most, whether college or pro? The Baltimore Orioles, in terms of sports that I actually enjoy watching, baseball is probably the top one. I was a huge Orioles fan when I was in high school and I went to a game at Camden Yards and I had a jersey from Javi Lopez and I was just totally obsessed. Later though, my family became extreme Boston Red Sox fans and so I kind of knew everything about that team. So I'm also kind of a Red Sox fan as well, but I still always go back to my Oriole roots. Like when Boston and the Orioles play and if the Orioles are winning, I'm always like ha 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 at my mom because she doesn't like that. She's a huge Red Sox fan. Honestly though, this would be a more interesting conversation to have with my mom because she's an extreme sports fan. Not my dad, ironically. She likes University of Virginia, the Boston Red Sox, and the Washington Redskins, and she consumes way more sports content than can possibly be healthy. So that's all the time I have for questions this week, but remember to submit some more down in the Google form in the description, and I love answering all of your questions, so this has been so much fun for me. Plus remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if this video made you smile. See you guys on Thursday. Thursday. <laughs>